This is how you can recreate the Google Chrome logo inside Adobe Illustrator. My name is Kent, I'm a graphic designer, and this is Dia Graphics. So the first thing we want to do is simply to activate the grid. So go to View, then go to Show Grid, then go to View again, and Snap to Grid. Then zoom in to the grid a little bit, and select the Ellipse tool. Then hold down the Shift key to draw a perfect circle, and draw a circle from one of these cross sections right here, and make the circle 4x4 four four squares. Then select the Fill, and remove the Fill. Now go to the Selection tool, and select the circle. Then go to Edit, go to Copy, then go to Edit again, and Paste in front. Now grab the corner, hold down the Alt key and the Shift key, and shrink this circle down until it fills 4 squares. Then one more time, go to Edit, go to Copy, go to Edit again, and Paste in front. But this time, go to the top of the screen, and make sure this link is on, and type in this box 80%. Then select the Line tool, and draw a straight line from this point right here, and all the way to here. Now, with the line still selected, go to the Rotate tool, hold down the Alt key and go to the middle of the circles and click one time. Then this crosshair should be moved to the middle of the circle, and this pop-up will appear. And inside this box, type in 120 degrees, then click Copy. And now repeat this step one more time. For an easy way to do this, simply click Ctrl D. Then go to the Selection tool and select the entire drawing. Then go to the Shape Builder tool. And while holding down the Alt key to get this minus sign next to the cursor, let's subtract these excess lines right here. Now release the Alt key to get the plus sign next to the cursor, and click on every part of the logo. Now we can select the entire logo, reverse the fill and the stroke, and now we can color the logo. I have made a swatch pack right here, you can download them down in the description. So let's start off with the dark colors. So select this part, and select the dark red, then this part, color this one the dark yellow, and this part the dark green color. Then for the outer ring, choose the white color, and for the inner circle, select the blue color. But the real logo, even though you probably haven't noticed, has some slight gradients in it. So we are going to do these as well. So select the red part, select Gradients, then select the Gradient tool, and drag a gradient from this corner right here, into the middle. Then select the dark red, and drag it to this end of the gradient. Then select the lighter red color, and drag it to the other end. And as you can see, the gradient is very subtle. Now let's do this to the yellow color and the green color as well. So select the yellow color, click the gradient, Click the Gradient tool, draw a gradient from this corner right here and into the middle. Then select the dark yellow color and drag it to this end of the gradient. Then select the lighter yellow color and drag it to the other end. Do this with the green color as well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you want to watch more graphic design tutorials, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.